before I wrote the email to Matri Foundation, I had no um, board experience. Matri Foundation essentially opened the door for me to be recognized. I felt that I have a lot to offer. I didn't, and again, as a first generation immigrant, I didn't have the connections to make it happen, even though I'm a lawyer. But that being a lawyer doesn't mean that you are very well connected. And so this initiative has allowed, has opened the door for me and make it possible. So I felt that it allowed me to use my skills and my potential, my passion to contribute and give back um, to the community. So it's not about ambition, really, for me personally, it's about giving back. I think that we Canadians, uh, they are all very open-minded, very sensitive. They, they know that immigrant is very important to the country as a whole, but sometimes you need a voice, a strong voice, to uh, represent the, the immigrant community so that uh, their interest is sufficiently represented instead of just being one of the voices. Because I'm an immigrant, I have some perspectives that uh, other people may not have. I also am more sensitive to broader policy concerns that are more of interest to the immigration community. I was appointed not because I have any political connection, in fact, I had zero. And here's my story. And I remember the whole room was just awed because here's the organization that made, the, made things happen. So that's what I would say to uh, people who ask me, how did you get there? And when, every time when people ask me, so how did you get appointed by the government? I said, this is what happened. I had no connection, but just a simple email. Just a simple email to say, congratulations, well done, here I am. If there's anything I can do, let me know. A lot of uh, the success will be coming in the future because many good potential uh, candidates are out there with strong leadership skills but lack the uh, connections uh, in, the, uh, in the government or, or in the society to make things happen. I think we still have a lot of room to help um, leaders in the, in the immigrant community to get there and to, to make contributions. So we do need to work, look outward, and our immigrants will be our channels to, to go outward successfully. There is still a lot of room uh, to, for us to improve as, as a province or as a country. I think that this is just the beginning. Um, the percentage of um, population uh, with immigrants is actually increasing. And the impact, I think, will also increase as our economy looks outward. And so I think that there's a lot more that we can do to help diversify the board. And not just the public board, but also the private boards. And so my hope is that sometime in the future, an initiative such as this can also branch out to the private uh, board.